Welcome along to this week's grocery haul. We have nothing particularly special on this week. Uh, it's school holiday still. This is pretty much a grocery haul which I would not recommend because it's just purely based on trying to get the most points we can get this week. So we've shopped to all of our points bonuses and they also had a, a program going this week, 10 times points on certain things. So we basically only shopped the points this week. The total was $360 this week, but I did get $20 off because we've already used our 10% online. We can still use the 10% in store, but we've already used the online one. But this week I got just over $20 off by doing a code for pickup orders for $10 off. And then I'll show you the other one. The Everyday Rewards app, if you go to Discover, at the moment they have 3% off gift cards. So I just bought a $350 gift card $339 and then use that straight away on the groceries along with the $10 off. So a code for picking up and then you got a gift card that was 10% off. 3% off. 3% off. $350. So yeah, so $20 off the whole order. That's really good. So $20 off the whole thing and what was the total again did you say darling? $340. We paid $340. We paid $340 but it actually cost $360. Yeah. yeah okay. All right then as Rach said this week was dominated by points and I guess we'll you know we're putting a lot of effort into that just an update on our points club we have 22 days left 22 days left and was it 17,000 points 17,000 points to get so this shop gave us 3,000 Qantas points which is why we did it that's a lot of Qantas points that means mm. 6,000 everyday reward points you don't often get that many points in a shop and unless you're really pushing for points. Where do you want to start? Well, uh, always a big yeah. expense is nappies, so you can pretty much take that out if you don't have babies. 30 something dollars for these, so that's already a big chunk of it that you can take out. How many How many is in that back pack? Um, Seven, 72, so. 72 size fours. So 72 in there, that's going to last. Oh, it lasts a few weeks. A, yeah, yeah, a couple of weeks, almost three weeks probably. Yeah. Um, and then we've got some. Uh, these were half price, but they were also 10 times points. I just got this because I, I've got a really old one in the cupboard, but I thought I'd get another one. Yeah, tanning. Um, while it was at 10 times points. Oh, that was 10 times points. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Now these are, they're lactose free, which is actually good because a couple oh. of the kids don't do that good on lactose. Yeah. yeah. But also we got 260 points per tub. So we got two tubs of those. The Natalix original. Is that margarine, is it? It's margarine. With sunflower oil but it's and it's dairy, dairy free. free. It's a bit more expensive than our usual margarine, but that was 520 points for those mm. two, so we did that. Honey, we usually get 100 points for honey. That's usually one of our boosts. That was a boost again? Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Barbecue sauce is the same. We got 100 points for that. Uh, the wedges were the same. Four, four packets of four wedges. Packets, yep. I've bought wedges for the last three weeks, but the first week they didn't give it to us, and then the second week they got lost in with the Easter eggs, and we didn't realise they were digging yeah, somewhere that, else. Yeah, yeah. So we've never actually eaten the wedges we got in the last few weeks. <laughs> That's so these were like right? eighty points per bag, and they're only like three dollars something per yeah. bag. So and I mean, you can keep them frozen for yeah. for ages, so you can use them whenever. Yeah. Um, I just felt like. Some sandwich pickles, but I forgot ham. That's a shame. Anyway, well, sandwich it'll, pickles. I'm pretty wait. sure they were 10 times points. Yep. Just the usual LCMs. Maggi noodles. They're more expensive, but they do taste better, and they were 10 times points. Yep. These crunchums. Sebi likes those. I did want to get the uh, mini wheels, like these chicken ones. I wanted to get them, but they yep. were out of stock, so I got these two instead. So we've got grizzly barbecue and roaring salt and vinegar. <laughs> and then the chicken... Um, the mini mini bites. Yeah. Rice wheels. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like to get the salt and vinegar ones of those, but they're yeah. out of stock. So I did get the bigger ones though, because the kids all love these. Like those salt and vinegar ones, if I was to... Like every time I've ever gone anywhere near rice cakes, it, yeah. they're the ones. They are so good. But these yeah. are really good too, the sour cream ones. Oh yeah. They, these are one of those things where you're like, uh, I'm a bit hungry, I'll have one. And you're like, now I need more. Yeah, they're moreish <laughs> when you start on them. <laughs> um, just some a packet of these. These are always handy to have in the freezer. Crumb tenders, yeah. Again, they were a points thing. The uh, we've got the Legos uh, fresh uh, ravioli here. We've got two bags. One is the pumpkin and feta, so that is the uh, vegetarian friendly. And then we've got the 
uh, beef ravioli as well. So these are a, a good meal once again to be able to do each on any night really quickly and easily and we cover off. And 10 um, times points. And 10 times points, okay. This is one that I got because you'll be away for quite a few days next week. Yeah, so I'm away for three and a half days. Yep. So beef lasagna, it's two kilos, so that's going to feed whoever's here in one go. Yep. Big lasagna. Okay, cool. And then often on nights that we have something like that, Ebony will have a bit of pasta or something. So we've got some bolognese uh, sauce here, just a one one jar. They've gotten so expensive. They're like... Mm. $4.50 or something now. They used to be wow. like $2.50. Yeah, they've gone up a lot yeah. in the last few years. And then uh, we've also got this um, stir through uh, tomato, roasted garlic, and caramelized I onion sauce. I get that for these ones. For that, yeah, that's really, that's, yeah. that would go well. Yeah. So With them, this for the meat one. Yep. And that for the. Yep. So that, that, that gives you two really nice meals. meals. Yeah. Got the beef mince. That's for Caleb. Oh, for Caleb, yep, yeah, he'll do we don't, his. We don't like the Woolworths mince ourselves. Yeah, so the Woolworths mince looks like this, right? I'm going to show you real quick. This is the mince that we got today from Coles. And when you look at the mince, when you compare, you can clearly see one is kind of chunkier. Chunky, yeah, chunky, and the other, and looks, yeah. And little... that's how it cooks as well. It it's chunky. Yeah, it definitely cooks. Um, like it looks. But some people like that, but it's yeah. just not us. <laughs> it's your, whatever your preference is. For us, we would definitely preference the coals here over the Woolies, but at the end of the day, it's a personal preference and that's the way we go. But and, you can... and again, I said in another vlog that it also depends on your coals or your Woolworths. Some of them will be different. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. Our coals and our Woolworths do that. <laughs> yeah. Continuing on here, we've got a, uh, a is it a kilo of... I think it's 750. 750 grams, yeah, of uh, the shortcut bacon, the so primo. It was about $5 off this week, and it was also a point steal. So points and $5 off, so yep, double double deal on that one. And the salami I grabbed in the last bit of the checkout where it says, did you forget something, and it showed me the salami. Right. And it was nearly $2 off, so I thought, yeah, okay, I'll get salami. <laughs> Salami's awesome. Except I can't have any, but anyway. <laughs> we got some party packs, 30 uh, pieces in total, 18 pieces party pies and 12 pieces of sausage rolls. We've got two um, two boxes of those. So they were 250 points each, which isn't a great deal for the $12 each that we paid, but they're good to have in the freezer. And yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just it's a points focused shop. Points so. focused. Yeah. And yeah, we we will. <laughs> it's not like we won't use them. We will yeah. definitely use yeah. them. Just move over, we've got uh, some garlic bread. Imagine two two garlic breads, would that have been a, a deal as yeah, well? It was, in the, it was in the 10 times boost. 10 times boost, yep. And beneath those, we've got uh, three of these uh, barbecue meat lovers uh, family pizzas. I think this they one. were 100 points each. Oh, they were a deal as yes. well. Yeah, there you go. All right. Okay, so we've got a bunch of bananas here. I think there's 10. Ten in total. Four kiwi fruit. Sebi loves his kiwi fruit. They won't last long. They were down to seventy cents each, so okay. they're still a lot, but they are usually over a dollar each. Mm. Cool. Okay. We've got over the back here. We've got a a pineapple, full pineapple. We've got a kilo of pink lady apples, and here we've got two bags of five mini pears as well. Both uh, Sebastian and. Uh, and Violet are really into the pears. They love pears, don't they? Mm -hmm. So that's good. We've got the a full cauliflower here, as well as a head of lettuce, and then a big four kilo bag of washed potatoes, the odd bunch. A big Nutella. So that's a, actually a, an actual Nutella branded Nutella. So that must have been a deal, was it? Or uh, it was a point deal, but it was also a couple of dollars off. Okay. Yep. So. And we don't often get it, so no, school holidays. Maybe, holiday. yeah. We uh, got the Wonder White uh, sandwich bread. That's uh, $4.40 three... a loaf compared to our usual $2.70 a loaf. But again, it was a point steal and you cannot deny that it tastes so much better. Yeah, you can't deny it's better. It is yeah. better, yeah. And there's some, there's definitely, um, and it's bigger too. Yeah. It's just physically bigger and better. So, Especially we, if yeah. you're going to be making a sandwich the day or the next day when it's fresh. So good. Mm, yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. Five uh, times three liters of full cream milk. That is our usual milk buy for, for the week, which generally gets us through pretty well. And uh, we've got a vanilla 
uh, flavoured custard here, a litre of that. That's a pregnancy craving. <laughs> and it's also a point sting. So <laughs> when I saw it, I, I just felt like custard lately. <laughs> Oh, there you go. And also we, we have here the vanilla vanilla and strawberry flavoured yogurt pouches, which the kids are into once again, as we mentioned last week. Well, they're still into them, so we'll keep getting them while they are enjoying them. So there you go. There it is. So it's not the best value for the money we paid. We definitely could get a lot more for that money, but it's still very good quality food. Like, it's good brands and stuff. And we mm. got... It says $30 converted, but it's got little Qantas thing there, so it's 3,000 Qantas points. That we got for it there. Yep. Transferred today, so we're getting there. It's going to be a tight race. We have a goal to get to. 22 days left. We th we're pretty confident we're going to get there, but we can't. Yeah, we're confident. We have to get there. We have to get there. Yeah. We so we will. Purposes. We need it. <laughs> need it. All right. So that's. Oh, I don't think I said these either. Two packets oh. of crumpets. Yeah, the crumpets. We missed the crumpets, yeah. They were uh, also points deal. Yep, and I do love crumpets. And I think they're half price at the moment too. Love crumpets with Vegemite on them. All right, so that's all we have for this week's grocery haul vlog. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions related to the vlog, feel free to ask them in the comments section. Thanks again for watching, and uh, until tomorrow, hurry mate. Mm -hmm.